the, the, the Vespa and Lambretta people, they are now I only one two-stroke engine. But for the future it will be difficult in, in large cities to go inside the cities. With this, no problem. It's from a guy who is, his shop is called, uh, called E-Crank and it's a lovely idea. You transform a 50cc scooter to an electric and you touch not the frame, you have instead of the um, petrol tank, you have the batteries and so it's very very easy. And also it's not too heavy, it's just four or five kilos more than a standard bike. To register it in Austria and Germany it's very very easy because they like it. All the governments like electric scooters and now we have the possibility to change the two-stroke engines to electric one and probably if you do not like it you can transform it back and register it back. So it's very very easy. It's instead of the normal crank and uh, the normal flywheel and the ignition and stator plate there is coming an electric engine there so you have to drill the, the small side of, of this engine casing you have to drill it and here is all the electric thing the guy who is doing this um, he's a freak and he's doing it perfect and uh, so we do all the, the mechanic work and he's doing the electric work and at the moment it's going uh, 70 kilometers in an hour and 70 kilometers you can run with it and right. for the future it should be 100 kilometers fast and 100 kilometers for the distance how do you drive it yeah it's standard gear change At, for this bike we use a, 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 a free speed gearbox because it's cheap a lot of uh, such things are lying in Italy for nothing and it has a lot of torque and so it's not a problem you don't need four speed gearbox or five speed something like that three or two gears it's enough you also lose some power yes through the gearbox or through the clutch yeah but this is not a problem because um, the, the batteries and the, uh, the, the engines are getting so the evolution of this is yeah. such Rapid. like this. Yeah. It's very, very, so maybe in one year it, it, it runs 100 miles. I don't know. So where is the battery stored? Yeah, it's very easy. You can have a look how many percent of the batteries at the moment we have half of it. Here you have a place for the uh, charge, uh, for the sm uh, standard charger for the batteries. Normally it takes 10 to 12 hours, but we have also a boost charger who is doing it in two hours. So at the moment we're thinking about doing the boost charger into the toolbox, but it's getting very, very hot. So probably we'll find another solution. This is one of the first ones, so it's a kind of prototype. Uh, how much would it cost for somebody to convert? It's also difficult to say. It, there will be for the future a kit. So you have all the pictures and uh, a description how uh, how it's working and how you put everything inside. This will cost about two thousand euros, something like that. So for the for the future, um, oh, we start now uh, doing uh, a Ape freewheeler because it has nearly the same engine um, which is also very very important the upper freewheelers are not allowed to go inside the cities in Italy or also in Austria and Germany because of the exhaust fumes so probably there is a market for it and the next thing will be a large frame Vespa PX and then probably a Lambretta we have a lot of customers who test the bike and there was no one who said, oh, I do not like it. All of them like it. A lot of good ideas are coming from them. And so we will do it again. Yeah. Probably in half a year or a year, you can order it. At the moment, no. We have to 
think about small things. We have to uh, re the, the recharging thing. You have to open the seat, which is not very good for some customers. Probably you can uh, uh, take out the batteries so you can recharge them uh, in your house. Uh, I talked to the guy who, uh, who invented this. Um, what about racing such things? He said, no problem. You have 10 minutes race or 15 minutes race, it's not a problem. You have at the moment, I think, 15 or 20 horsepower on the back wheel, so this will be enough. Yeah. And then we have an extra E-Class racing Vespas group, which, is, which might be interesting for the future.